Is it is it a little um, morbid that these tree stumps are chopping down trees? <laughs> Hello and welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Two Can Plays. Today we're going to play a game called Odd Sparks, an automation adventure. Uh, and it is just a demo now. So Steam Next Fest was uh, about a week ago and they released a whole bunch of demos for different games. And uh, this game looked like a lot of fun. Let's see, village name. I'm going to name it uh, Two Canville. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'll use this generation. See, that sounds good. 86072. If you want to download the demo yourself and play it. Now, the game is going to be multiplayer at some point, which I'm excited for. The game looks super, super cute. Uh, and so it's an automation type game. So similar to uh, like Factorio. Um, but I also heard it's like Pikmin. So we're gonna see, okay, it's, it's, a, it's a calm and quiet day and you are relaxing on your bench. All of your daily tasks are done and the warm sun gently lulls you into a midday nap. <laughs> you dream of an adventure, a more exciting life than the one you have right now in the frontier village. Okay, when suddenly an intense crash comes from the field and wakes you up. Now I did get to choose my character. That's one thing I did before I started playing here. I got to choose, I, like I got to customize my character, or pick his outfit, I think that's kind of cool. Uh, okay, let's see, broken shed, clean, I need to left click on it to clean it. It's clear there is no way to fix the shed, you begin to clean up the area. As you clean the debris, the shards of wood, you find a gleaming metal object in the middle of the mess. This must have been the thing that crashed and destroyed your shed. Unsure of what it is, you pick up the strange metal object, put it away for now. You should first replace your shed. Okay, well, how do I do that? Move the camera, drag the mouse wheel. Okay, okay, and then click to, yep, 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 I got it. Okay, rotate. I'm good, I'm good. I know how to use the camera. <laughs> Yay, I completed the camera tutorial. Okay, uh, let's see, open up the map and find the woodsman. Okay, the map, okay, down at the bottom. Find quest givers with the M button. Ah, here's the woodsman right here with the exclamation point. He, he looks like a woodsman with twigs in his hair, what doesn't he? Okay, manage quests with the quest log L. Uh, and I don't have any quests. Oh, 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 the one quest. Okay, open up the map, talk to the woodsman, complete the shed tutorial. Okay, let's go talk to the woodsman. There he is, woodsman, hello. <laughs> he's totally got, he's got like branches coming out of his hair. Something crashed into your shed. Well, I'm sure I can teach you how to fix up a new one. Okay, the woodsman will help you build a shed. You can get wooden logs from the logger. Don't forget to collect logs out of the logger or harvest them from bushes around the village. Okay, so I need, no, no, it rewards a shed and uh, sawn timber times five. Deliver five logs mm -hmm. to the woodsman. Okay, great, just let me get some wooden logs from the loggers around me. I'll prepare you some sawn timber to build the shed. Uh, lo oh, there it is right there, logger. Uh, open, okay, craft. Oh, do I have to keep clicking? Click, 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 click. <laughs> That's really slow. Uh, okay, I got one log. Uh, can I hold it down? Oh, I can't, oh, that's so much better. Okay, good. Uh, two, three, four, and five. And now what happens if I right click? Nice, oh, that's so much better. Transfer item, I see it, okay. No rush with the thing I asked. Everything takes as long as it needs to, but if you forgot, you can look in your quest log for what to do. Oh, in the trash, trash, treasure chest. Uh, is that all I need to do? Yeah, okay, wooden log deliver and talk to him. Okay, good. The woodsman will help you rebuild the shed, but it requires some, okay, I did that. Okay, complete, got it. Perfect, here's that sawn timber you need. Now all you have to do is, uh, what? <laughs> uh, oh, building tutorial, open the build menu. I think I see, okay, so yeah, you can kind of see like the footprint of the shed. Like if I try and put it here, it's red, but if I put it here, it's white. They want me to put it right here. All right. Good enough. Hello, divine researcher. Hmm, you need my help with a weird thing? I love weird things, let me see. Oh wait, what if we poke it right? The strange piece of metal you picked up from the broken shed comes alive. Alive? And it wraps itself around your brooch and staff when suddenly a wealth of information enters your mind. Days you look into the ancient tablet nearby to the researcher and realize you can understand the ancient writings. Oh my goodness. The ancient tablet seems particularly wrecked, but uh, you can definitely read some of the text. Something about magic, devastation, a spark, something about hope. You relay everything to the researcher. Ah! <laughs> 
You, you can understand it? This is incredible, amazing news. I, oh, you must look at the village monument for me. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, go, go without me, I'll just slow you down. Come back when you tell me what you find, you hear? Okay, okay. Oh, so this is the tablet. Uh, you can understand the carvings. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Okay, I already know what the carvings say. Um, who's this old lady? Oh, she's the mayor. Oh, hello, dear. Have you eaten? Have a cookie. <laughs> well, thank you, Miss Mayor. Village mon The village monument looms above you quietly and with the weight of years behind it. You extend your hand into the strain, and the strange metal in your brooch radiates a soft light. Suddenly, the carvings in the stone itself begins to shift into text. You barely have time to understand what you see as writing appears and disappears. You can't catch all of the information. Something about being last access several million days ago several million days ago the word danger catches your eye clearly the monument is much more than you had assumed the words settle for a moment dangerous levels of corrupted aether detected cleansing pulse routine initiated Uh oh you can hear the monument rattle something inside is trying to happen but nothing happens Etheric cleansing failed. Function keys missing. Cleansing routine recommended. Danger to life critical. Oh no. A piece of stone moves aside to reveal a handful of empty key slots. You should tell the divine researcher about everything that you found. Oh, okay. Well, here's all the key slots. Guess I'm gonna have to find keys at some point. You describe everything that you've seen to the uh, with the village monument that was activated to the divine researcher. The strange text, the missing spark keys, and how it tried to do a cleansing pulse but failed. The divine researcher's natural smile falls as he tries to digest everything. Hmm. We've had individuals explore north past the wood. Oh, we've had individuals explore north past the woodlands and even past the mountains. The ones that traveled farthest returned ill and cor and talked about how the magic, the aether itself, felt strange. Some have used the word corrupted. It would explain a lot if the village monument can clean the corrupted aether. It did seem odd that this place was so perfect to make a new village in. Sounds like we should return, turn it on and try and find out. Okay, I guess we need to turn on the Divine Researcher. I'm sorry, not the, the, the monument. We need to turn on the, the Divine Researcher. Hopefully is already turned on. <laughs> uh, finding a single key that has never been seen or heard of will be difficult. Nine sounds impossible. Okay. Accept and pin. Sure. I suppose we'll have to find the missing keys, missing spark keys first, and perhaps more. I'll see what I can dig up first in my notes. This village has existed for a few decades now without any problems. I don't think the threat to be so immediate that we'll fall sick out of nowhere. Just be careful in your adventures. Okay. But for now, there's lots of ancient shrines that you could translate. I know there's quite a few in the woodlands. Perhaps they could even reveal more about our mystery. You are technically not allowed to go out there. It can be quite dangerous, but I won't tell anyone. <laughs> okay, the divine researcher wants you to use your newfound ability to understand divine texts to read a few things. He now wants you to find and look for the ancient shrines that is in the woodlands just outside of the village. You can leave the village by the old mine shaft to the northwest. Okay, uh, just keep going through the old mine shaft and there should be this strange looking little building. I call them ancient shrines. It has a kooky little golden statue on top. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have my permission, so go. Have a fun adventure. Okay, I think I will. Thank you. Okay, now he said it was in the north. Oh, I can see right here in the... Okay. Uh, here we are read of logs i'll call them stumpy sparks they're the first step in making it right ah the ancient shrine you start looking at the shrine but as you look closer it's more evident that it's not actually a shrine but some kind of machine you extend your hand the strange metal in your brooch radiates a soft light with a touch the machine rumbles as it works by itself after a short moment the machine stops and displays some writing from what you can understand, the shrine usually is capable of making something called a stumpy spark. However, it's currently broken and it's asking for some items to fix itself. Okay. Turns out the ancient shrine is some kind of machine. Shrine is broken, blah, blah, blah. It wants aether shards, which you can find by hunting animals. Uh, you don't know how to hunt, but maybe you can find a corpse somewhere here in the woodlands? Okay. You touch the shrine, small hatch opens to reveal a slot to put the items inside. You leave for now. Uh, okay, so I can't hunt. Uh, so these look like 
Are these enemies? A field spunny. It's a spunny. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I'm not sure quite what I need to do. I can gather up stones. So it's just like Minecraft then. Uh, oh, I gotta pick it up after I gather it. Okay. Whee! And then, oh, hello, big tree. Ah, a spunny corpse. So there, there's some spunnies that are already dead out here. Oh, are th those must be my aether things. What's this? A bush? It is, and it has logs. Yay, logs! Let's see if I can get some more. I have a feeling I'm gonna need them for something. I don't know how many I need for, oh, right there, deliver five wooden logs, it's right there. <laughs> okay, well, let's get some more then. I need five. I only need one of those aether shards, but let's let's get some more too while I'm here, huh? Whee! How many do I have? Let's see. I have 12 aether shards and six wooden logs. Um, that should be enough. Let's come around over. Ooh. Okay, let's come around over here. Oh, I have to deliver it. Open inventory. There we go. Okay. And I should be able to just right click. And the shrine. Blah, blah, blah. The shrine slowly works to life. It takes the items and begins to fix itself. It seems to be running some kind of test, checking on things to make sure everything still works. Whoa! <laughs> Suddenly, it spits out a rather strange creature into your arms. The shrine notes that the stumpy spark has been immediately activated as part of the tests. The stumpy spark stares at you and seems ready and eager to receive instructions. However, before anything can be done, with a puff of magic, this stumpy spark turns into a wooden disc that fits into your hand. With the spark's deactivation successful, the shrine claims that it is now fully operational and is ready to be assigned sparks. The strange metal in your staff changes in slots that can fit the discs appear. Hmm. You place it in and the stumpy sparks begins to follow you. Okay. Oh, there he is. Hello, little sparky. <laughs> little stumpy spark. Okay, let's see. Spark harvesting in A mode. Uh, okay. You can throw the sparks equipped in your active sparks bar. You can also call back the spark. Oh, so this must be the, the Pikmin type. I can throw, can I throw him at the field spunny? Maybe he'll attack it. Ah, <laughs> he totally did. Oh good, and then he gathered, he gathered it up. Oh, he only gathered up one, but that's nice. Okay, how about this tree? Can you attack the tree? He can, he can totally attack the tree. <laughs> nice. He's slow though. Can I attack the tree? I can't, I can't harvest the tree. I guess I need a pickaxe or something, huh? Oh, -ho. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, oh, and then I can call him back. Let's see if I can, uh, I'll throw him first and then I'll call him back. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, okay. And it makes it big. If I, longer I hold it down, the bigger it is. So maybe I need more. I think I need more sparks. Let's see. Um, so I need five logs and one, so three logs. So I need to get some more logs. Um, so I can throw the spark on that. <laughs> okay, let's see, there's this giant tree requires the logger building to harvest. So I need a logger building. I'm gonna send him to attack the tree since he can do the tree, but I can't. And then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna get more bushes. I hope he doesn't like disappear. Oh no, there he is, he's there right there. Oh, nice. Whee, I'll just send him to go pick stuff up. <laughs> hey, go pick some stuff up. Can I, oh, I could probably have him gather stuff too, I bet. Right? Whee, here, go gather that. Yeah, oh, can we work together? We can, oh nice, and it'll go so much faster. What a nice little buddy. <laughs> All right, I want to make some more. How many, I wonder how many I can have at a time. Oh, that's really slow. <laughs> now I see right underneath it though, it says spark slots. I wonder, can I put him in the, I can, and then nice. And so now he's automatically building, I'm not, but now I, I've lost the ability to help him. So, but that's okay. Nice, I got another one. And that, let's see if I put two of them in there. I bet they go faster, huh? Oh, that's cute. So they, <laughs> <laughs> They're just rolling on the switches. <laughs> They're 
rolling back and forth on the switches. That's funny. Okay, so I need to get more, though. Uh, I need more logs. Dang it. Well, let's see. Okay, so complete the quest at the Divine Researcher. Let's just go to the Divine Researcher. Okay, hello, Divine Researcher. Let's talk to you. Okay. Yep, complete it. Uh, you tell the Divine Researcher everything that you've seen about the ancient shrine, especially the rather strange creature that came out of it after you fixed it. They're called sparks, you say. How unusual. Clearly, I have some research to do. Hmm, they're quite cute. You should show them around. Maybe the other villagers will have some thoughts and ideas on them. Well, look at that. The woodsman has got an idea. What are these little guys? Sparks, you say. And and you can get them to do work for you? Hmm, tell me more. <laughs> and you see the twinkle in his eyes. He described the ancient shrine and how the sparks work in one. He mutters something and nods to himself. Oh, I see. Yes, of course. Hmm, that's pretty ingenious. Right, well, let me have a few, will you? And get me some materials. I want to try making a logger for your little sparks. Okay, let's see. So this is how I probably harvest that big tree that's out there. Yeah, I need the logger, but I need to deliver 10 wooden logs, five stone, and two stumpy sparks. Okay, okay. You leave the woodsman deep in his thoughts as he mentally constructs the design for their logger. Okay, good. All right, well, let's come back over this way. We'll go get some wood for the logger. Of course, the logger would want more wood. Now, can I get these big trees? Let's see. I'll put all three of them on there. Mm, they look confused. <laughs> I'm going to guess not. Okay, good. Oh, if I put three of them on the tree. Oh, they go so much faster. Yay. Okay, yeah, that's so much faster. Uh, and then I'll just, it's just it, easier for me just to pick up the logs. Okay, now I also need some more stones, too. So maybe I can throw some of these guys on the stones. I need more, though. I need to make more. Can I only have three? They're just so slow. Let me see something here. Ah, I can stack it, of course. Okay, so I can put... I wonder how big of a stack I can have. Well, let's come back over here. See, I, I don't think I need that many more... Oh, yeah. I don't think I need that many more crystals. But I need a lot more logs. But maybe it'll go faster once I get the logger. Oh, good. I've got some more. Oh, yes. And it stacks automatically. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you for stacking. Ah, four. I wonder how many I can have. I need so many more. How many did he want? Uh, he needs two stumpy sparks. Okay. Uh, so I should have enough stumpy sparks. But he needs a lot more logs, too, didn't he? How many logs did he want? He wants ten logs. Okay, so... Ah, if I put all of them on there... Oh, that goes so fast. Oh, very nice. That's so much faster than uh, than the harvesting the bushes. Come on, chop down that tree for me. Oh, good job, guys. <laughs> so I guess it's just the small trees that they can harvest, the big trees they can't harvest yet. Nice. Oh, so fast. Yay. Um, let's put some more in there. I want to get a bunch more of these. I want to see how tall of... Or how tall. How big of a stack I can get. Come on, harvest me some more wood. I love these guys. <laughs> Come on, Pikmin. I mean, uh, log sparks. <laughs> stumpy sparks. That's they are. Stumpy sparks. I love this game. This game is just... Pfft. Seriously, I love this game. This is really cool. It's a lot of fun. Are they out of logs again? Oh my gosh. Okay, ten. Now I've got ten guys. Look at them all standing in a row, too. Ooh, what's over here? A boulder. Can they... Uh, I'm sure they can't. I'm sure boulder is like tier two, right? Yeah. So the boulder is tier two. These trees are tier two. But this bush, I bet they can gather, right? Yeah, they can gather the bush. What do we get from the bush? Logs and what is that? Leaves? Seeds, maybe? I bet there's seeds so I can grow more bushes. Why I want more bushes, I don't know. <laughs> Come on, guys. Chop down the trees. I want the whole forest gone. I feel like I need the Lorax to tell me not to. <laughs> is it is it a little um, morbid that these tree stumps are chopping down trees? <laughs> okay, I should have enough logs now. I got plenty of logs. Let's see. Yeah. And two more. Okay. So, 10 is the stack limit. No, I don't want that. So, now I'm making a new stack. That's pretty cool. So, I can have 30 of these little stumpy guys. Right now, though, let's go. I got, I've got, i got 20 logs. I've got plenty of stone. Let's go see if we can make that logger. Let's go talk to the woodsman. Okay, we've got to put it in his chest. Let's see. Split item is control. 
I only want to put 10 in here. I'm gonna keep the other 10. Five stone, put those in there. And then two stumpy, sp perfect, look at that. Okay, and we'll talk to him. Very nice, of course. <laughs> of course, since they're all so small, they'll need a low table. And it's done. One very important thing, you need an etheric orb to build the logger. They offset the aether in the giant trees, you see. <laughs> Away. Ah, you don't really know what that means, but let me tell you, I've personally tried harvesting these giant trees without an etheric counterbalance, and it took two whole months to regrow my mustache. <laughs> oh no, that would be awful. We first found the etheric orb in the beefant court. Be beefant? Be be elephant. <laughs> be, be elephant corpses that are around in the woodlands. I'm sure you can find more, but for now, I'll give you a few that I have to spare. Well, thank you for that. All right, let's see. Ah, oh, what's this? Okay, so K is my notebook. Oh, okay, I can learn about my sparks. I can learn about wooden logs, and they come from a logger. Okay, good. Stone, etheric orbs, shards, and this. Okay, they are leaves. Basic organic crafting material, small bundle of leaves. Don't know what it's for. And then, okay, my logger, my shed. Here's some enemies. Field stumpy. Dry butt and this stumpy corpse. <laughs> That's just, that is rib cage. <laughs> Poor stumpy. Uh, not stumpy. Spunny. It's a spunny. Let's go. I wanna. I wanna build one of these things. Oh, hello. Huh. Quartermaster. Hey. So those weird dolls. Dolls <laughs> of yours. The woodsman was showing them off. They follow instructions, right? You think you can carry stuff too? Sure, why not? After seeing the woodsman show the sparks off, the quartermaster has an idea. Maybe they can be given instructions to not just work in places, but make them carry items from one building to another using paths. Nice, okay. She asks, she, okay, asks for a few sparks to test it out and promises to teach you what she's learned. Okay, deliver three sparks. You know what? I happen to have three sparky stumps just for you. Let's see, let's split this into three. Put it in there. Nice, there you go. Have three sparky sp stumps. It works. They walk on the paths. They pick up items from buildings they pass. They drop off items if the building they pass can use them. Uh -huh. They also pick up items on the path if, they're, if it's in their way, but they only walk on the right side of the path for some reason. Here, let me show you how to make a dirt path. Okay, try it out. Build a logger, connect a logger to the Stumpy Spark Shrine. Throw Stumpy Spark on the path, and then transport wooden logs to the spark. Okay. Tell me how it went. Okay, that's gonna be fun. Let me try it. Here we go. Okay, so we need to build the logger, and then we're gonna build a path to the shrine right here. Uh -huh. Here, have some more. Uh-oh, looks like I need to get some more shards. Here, hey guys, go tack that thing. <laughs> nice! <laughs> All right, let's see. Here's the logger, let's see, B for build. There's the paths. Aha, harvesters, what do I need? I need more logs, more logs, of course. Uh, should I just take them from here? Yeah, let's do that, we'll just we'll just take them from here for now because I'm gonna get a lot more logs from the harvester, I bet ya, I bet ya. Okay, let's see, I can place it or I can rotate it. Now, just because I've played other games like Factorio, I know that this right here is gonna be the output or, or where the path connects. And I should be able to rotate it. Yeah, okay, I think I like this position better. So R rotates, and then I can place it. Uh, now I need to build the path. So here's the path tool, and I can go like that. Nice. Okay, now he wants me to throw one, two, three. Onto the path, uh, but I need to put I need to put some guys on here. There we go, just like that. Ooh, they chop fast. Ah, and they're doing it. They're bringing it from the logger to. Ooh, they're slow. From the logger to the shrine, they need five. I'm gonna throw some more. I'll put five on there. There they go. Nice. Uh. So wait, I need, I'm gonna need more crystals. Let's go get some more crystals, guys. Oh good, they're transporting those wooden logs for me. That's so nice. They transported all 20, and I need to craft 10 
Stumpy Sparks. So I need I need at least ten. Oh, I've got I've got eleven. That was easy. Okay, good. Let's go craft ten Stumpy Sparks, shall we? Come on. Uh, we'll copy that over, and we'll get our Stumpy Sparks. Come on, keep crafting. While they're crafting, I think I'm gonna go out. I need to get some more crystals. And I think I can get it from uh, attacking these guys. Ah, there's so many of them out here. <laughs> oh, did some? Did somebody die? Ooh, what's this over here? I wonder. Get him! <laughs> what is this? Ah, it's a chest. Oh, cool! It had all kinds of stuff in it. An an ancient container. Okay, you die. <laughs> So, okay, so this game definitely reminds me a lot of Pikmin, obviously. I played a lot of Pikmin, I enjoy it. Um, not quite so much combat, but maybe the combat will come a little bit later. Um, and that's okay, I don't mind that. Um, and a little bit of Factorio. Factorio is a game where you kind of connect up um, conveyor belts to different machines and the machines make things for you. So this is kind of one of those machines that's making something for you. And then the path is like the conveyor belt. And uh, I guess the little guys are, are kind of like electricity on the conveyor belt. I don't know, I don't know quite how to explain it. But yeah, no, this is really fun. I can't wait to get into the, to, to the bigger machines, like um, more complex stuff. That's not something I'm really, really good at, but I'm, I'm a kind of excited. And I like the adventure uh, aspect of this game, too. You know, the story is really kind of fun. You know, it's a simple story so far, but I like it. Ooh, what are these little guys on the path? Uh, the quartermaster explains step by step. Oh, oh, yeah, right, right. Complete. Okay. She nods as you explain to her what happened when you created the production line, and her lips relax into a soft, satisfied smile. <laughs> nice. Here, take this as a gift. Oh, sawn timber times ten. Okay, so this is just showing, demonstrating the way that they walk on the path, how they always go on the right side. It's kind of the same with Factorio too. Um, how they, you know, they'll walk on the one side of the path, and same thing over here. And he's going along. He'll pick that up, and he'll drop it off somewhere along the way. Okay, cool. Hey, I got my logs too. Nice. Oh, he's gonna give me all my stuff back that I that he took earlier. I don't know. Oh, gee, sorry. Uh, can I collect these guys, I wonder? Can I bring them back? Ha-ha, I can! <laughs> nice! Got all my Pikmin back. My my stumpy logs. Hmm, all right, so I was thinking that maybe we can get these sparks to not just harvest the wood, but actually craft with it. I'll need quite a lot of materials to try out some different ideas, but you and your sparks can do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Deliver a hundred wooden logs. Oh, my gosh, a hundred. Yes, let's make something new together. Okay, so a hundred wood. How many do I have? I have thirteen. So, um, oh, okay. And then the mayor's got something for me too. Hello, Miss Mayor. Oh, you look like you're being very busy. You're, you look like you're being a very busy beelephant today. <laughs> how about I teach you how to have an eye on things when we have lots of tasks to do? Okay. The mayor tells you of the tricks she uses to take a look at the bigger picture and find out what to take care of next. Okay. Uh, open the quest overview. No. Um, ah, quest overview right there. Oh, okay. Tier one. So I'm still in tier one. We need to unlock the saw bench, which is um, what I'm working on right now. And the spark work bench can be accepted at the divine researcher. Okay, so there's another quest from the divine researcher that uh, I need to complete as well. And I think this one, yeah, activate the monument. This is the overall quest that I need to complete. So let's go talk to the divine researcher, shall we? Hello. Aha, I've been looking through my research and it seems that these sparks are entirely unique. You're the first person to discover such a thing. What, are you surprised that this old man can actually do some work? Divine technology is my specialty. I'll have you know, and I've been thinking, maybe we can recreate these spark machines. The divine researcher grins, his eyes full of passion. He takes out several pages full of questions he has prepared for you. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, let's see, spark workbench. Uh, I need to deliver 10 stumpy sparks and five aether shards, okay? You spend what feels like forever answering a litany of questions about the stumpy spark shrine, its dimensions, its convention connections, how every little thing seems to work. By the end of it, the divine researcher seems satisfied. 
I see. So it uses the same etheric energies as the divine technology, and it certainly fits some older hypotheses about replicating the actual process. Well, nothing to do but try. Okay. So, five. Do I have five? No, I have none. Okay. So I need to deliver some more etheric shards and ten stumpy sparks. Let's go get those. And then what do I need to do? I need to do something else for... Uh, nope, that's the one. I need, oh, that's right, 100 logs. Oh my gosh. So 100 logs and a bunch of stumpy sparks and etheric connections. Okay, so now these guys are just sitting here because... Why? Oh, because there's only a stack and I can only fit one stack in there. Okay. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Now, can I put them down here? I can. So I can have 30 of these sparks. Now, I wonder, I remember seeing in here, barrel, okay, good. So I can, I need to get 20. The shed costs these sewn logs, and I don't know if I want to use the sewn log. I could get, just get, let me see, come over here. Yeah, so I can collect the full stack of logs. Oh, that's gonna be easy. Yeah, look at that, look at them go. Okay, so, but I think I can come in here and I can put this barrel. Yeah, see, there's an output. There's an input right there and an output right there. And so what I need to do, I need to rotate. And I'll just place that right there like that. Go back, we'll go to the the path. Boom, boom, boom. And then I'll throw one of my little guys on there. And he should, yeah. Yeah, so he's picking them up and he's putting them in there. <laughs> Genius! Genius, I say! <laughs> For now, I'll take some more, though. Uh, oh! What's this? What's this? It looks like a corpse of something. Wee wee wee! Okay, let's see, can I... Oh, okay, that's not a bad guy. That was, uh... Yeah, it's just a dead thing. Okay. I was worried it might have been a bad guy. Uh, okay, thank you for harvesting that rock. I don't really need rocks right now. <laughs> I just need a lot of these etheric shards. All right, so here's more of these big trees right here so I can get, man, I can get a big logging situation going on there. Whole logging operation. We're gonna clear cut this whole forest dog on it. <laughs> okay, let's go back. I think I've got enough. How many do I have? Oh yeah, 40. So these will stack in 40, that's nice. Nice to know, and I got 46 of these. That should be more than enough to get me to, uh, to what I need. In fact, I already have everything I need for that particular quest. Here is my spot. I just need to get more logs. I need a hundred logs. Nice. He's doing it, huh? Yes. Oh, that's so good. Nice. And now I have 30 of them. Oh man. I'm so excited about that. Uh, and they have plenty of logs. Let's see. We'll put some more etheric shards in there. Stack of 40. Perfect. We'll stack it up. I wish there was a sort button. I don't see a sort button anywhere. Or is that it? That's it. That's the sort button. I found it. Yay. Okay, good. Uh, I like it when there's an auto sort button. I wish that was a little bit more obvious that that's the sort button. Okay, one more stack. Almost there. Come on. Keep going, guys. Log, log, log. Yay. Okay, got it. 100. So now... <laughs> I don't think... Oh, wait. I do need... I need, what, 10? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I've got 10. We'll just keep on making more and more and more of these guys. Ah. Uh... Uh, and then I'll drop off my 10 to the, um, what is he, the, the village elder or whatever his name is, the historian guy, and we'll drop off the 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 logs to the woodsman. Hello, woodsman. Perfect timing. Let me show you my final design. So much of the machinery inside of the building, it simplifies the work so the sparks of yours don't have to do anything too complex. Mm -hmm. Uh, no offense, they're not very smart. <laughs> when I try to give a complex order to one, they get very confused. <laughs> of course, there's always more room for improvement, but try it out. Okay. Ten stumpy sparks in there and five shards. So then let's split this into five. There we go. And we'll give it to the divine researcher. That's his name, not the historian. It's done! There's no way of building this without an ancient basis. The piping is vital, so I can't quite replicate it. But 
I've also made the process agnostic. It means you can use it to make other types of smarks. Sparks. What? I know there are more shrines out there. I bet you a warm dinner that there's more sparks too. Oh, I always thought that these statues were minor deities, but I think that they were these creatures. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. So he's talking about different kinds of sparks. Researcher squints at you over his glasses. You weren't planning on just trying it out and not telling me the results, right? <laughs> of course not. Uh, okay, so I need to build a spark workbench and craft sparky, stumpy sparks. Uh -huh. uh, I'll give you a little something for it. Don't make me wait too long. Okay, okay, so let's come back. Let's talk to the mayor. Oh, oh look, I know everyone's excited for these spark thingies, but I don't like you going out there so much. There's a reason that we don't let everyone walk into the woods, you know. I've agreed that I would give them a chance, but I won't let it go without a fight. If those little creatures of yours can't do this, then it's not worth the risk. Okay, and so she, the mayor wants 40 stumpy sparks and 60 sawn timber. Okay, all right, all right. Well, let's come over here. We'll gather up, we'll gather up a whole stack, uh, which is what I needed to make the saw bench and okay so now i'm looking at the footprint again and you can see on one end there's the input and on the other end there's the output so let's rotate this around i think because I, I don't know how many sparks i'm gonna really need here i've got plenty of sparks for right now maybe i'll just keep needing more and more i don't know but it, it seems like my logging um apparatus here is keeping up well enough to where I can kind of use these guys. We'll build a path that kind of breaks off and comes in. Nice, and then we'll do the same thing. We'll build a path over and then we'll build, put a barrel right there at the end of the path. And then we need to throw, we'll just throw one guy there. And there's nothing happening just yet. I need to put some sparks on there. Let's do that. Spark, spark. That's the fuel that keeps things going. That's why. So now there's some logs, and I've got them running the log, or the, the saw bench refiner here, the, the log refiner. And there he is. He's taking it, and he's putting them in the barrel. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so I need 60 saw and timber. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I think maybe I could benefit from having a few more of these guys on the path because yeah the logging the logger here is oh okay that answers my question a building to infinitely harvest logs and more from a giant tree okay so they will always have enough logs it, it goes on forever yes okay and adding more to my lineup here just those two guys are logging enough to keep up with demand for my um, spark producer and my sawmill here. Let's see, I'm gonna make sure that they're not backing up, which doesn't look like they are. It looks like it's a pretty good flow of guys coming in. There's enough guys going all the way around the whole loop. They're dropping off here first, and if that one doesn't, if this one has too many, like if they've got a full stack, then they continue on down the line, and they come over here to the saw bench, and hopefully, oh no, see, now that was what I was afraid of. So sometimes the saw bench isn't going fast enough and they're bringing the logs all the way back around, but that's okay, that's okay. It's a little bit of a backup, not quite as uh, efficient as what I would like. But for now, I think it's working. How many we got here? Nine, so it's it's moving a little slow. I wonder, I wonder, can I build a second one? Can I build a second one? I just need to get some more logs. Yes, yes, yes. I wonder if it would be worth it. It probably would be, right? I would think. Uh, let's move it over. There's a, there's a slope in the ground right here and I can't place it. So let's rotate and we'll put it right here next to this one. And so this guy should be able to go to both of them, yeah? And then, um, hmm, how do I want to do this? I think if I just do that, that should be good, right? That way, Let's see if this works. So they're gonna go to this first. Oh, I have to. I have to put my sparks in it. Sparky, Sparky. Let's get some more sparks out of here. Oh, there's so many sparks. I love it. Ha 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 ha! I got so many sparks. Okay. Yes. 
So now when this one fills up, which it should soon, should quickly fill up, right? But yeah, when once this one fills up, then the, the excess will come around to the other one. And there should be enough logs. Maybe I need to get some more. I'll throw a couple more on here. I'll throw them onto the path. Just need just need a few more workers. Hauling logs around. Ah, I need more crystals. I need to go out hunting. Oh, I love this. I love this. This is so fun. Yes. Okay, good. Yes, it's working out perfectly. Okay, yeah. So they're coming in here. They're dropping them off. If this is full, then they come over here and they drop it off. If this is full, then they go back around and they drop it off here. Now, there shouldn't be. I mean, there's, this path should be efficient enough to where there's no excess. There should be no guys dragging logs all the way around the entire path, the entire loop. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> How many we got here? Oh, we got, yeah, we got plenty. Hopefully there won't be any guys dragging logs around the whole path. Oh no, <laughs> there's two guys, three guys, a bunch of guys dragging logs around the whole path. I don't want them to be dragging logs around the whole path. But I don't think I need to build a third sawmill either. So I think we're good enough for right now. How much, are, how much do you have? How much are you making here? Okay, 20. It's going to take a little while to make enough uh, sawn logs. Wait, why isn't he not dropping it off? It's hard to see what's going on because all these little guys are, are here. But now I've got more guys on the path. And this, this sawmill to the left is probably going to produce more than this one on the right. But that's okay. Yeah, and there's a few extra logs that are running around on the path over here. That's okay, too. I think it's efficient for the most part. I suppose that to make it ultimately efficient, I would have like a full path, just a guy on every single node on this path, but it's okay. I need to go hunting for more crystals. Let's go. Yeah, another treasure chest. Very cool. Lots of stuff there. Wait, what's that? A wooden panel. Okay. I don't know what those are for. Ooh, what's this over here? Right, get, get those. What is this? An, another ancient shrine. Okay. The ancient stone ruin stands in front of you. It's clearly magical in some way and holds forgotten information in its carvings. This shrine is locked and not available in the demo. Well, boo. So this game is going to be coming out at the end of April. April 24th is when it's scheduled to be released. Able to carry more items. They'll prove useful as the workshop grows. So it's a new type of spark, it looks like. Oh, very cool. Uh, but yeah, so it'll come out uh, April 24th. The demo is available now. You're able to download it for free. Ooh, it looks like this is the zone line, a new zone up there, too. I would bet you dollars to donuts that I'm not able to go into this new zone, though. Let's see. Yeah, warning. You are leaving the demo area. Go back or you'll be teleported. Okay, we're going back. We're going back. That's a bummer. I would really like to go to the new zone. I'll just have to wait until April, I suppose. What's this here? So this is ancient waypoint needs... Immediately unlocked in the demo requires constant supply of fuel. So basically I need to, to have, what do they call it? A logger and a path. Uh, I should be able to teleport from here down to here. This is where my main base is. Um, oh, and there's another shrine up here. I need to go check that out. But anyway, yeah. So I should be able to teleport from here to here. Um, once I get like a logger set up, I don't see any place where I can get a logger going over here, but uh, I should be able to run logs straight to this and be able to teleport to it. I, I'm not that I really have a reason to at this point because there's nothing out here, but yeah, you know, it's good to know. Oh, another one. Okay, another shrine. What does this say? Uh, actual arms that can work. Why are limbs so difficult to make at least? <laughs> okay. Seems like those are some sort of journal for somebody who made all these shrines. Uh, let's see what you extend your hand to touch the shrine in a strange and the strange metal brooch in here uh, radiates a soft light as the machine begins to hum to life. This machine clarifies that it's capable of making a crafty spark, but it is currently broken. Uh, oh, deliver four stumpy sparks and four wooden panels. I just got some wooden panels, didn't I? Touch the shrine, a small hatch opens to reveal that uh, you can place items inside. Okay. Uh, oh, I've got three. I need one more. Really? Okay, well, let's go around and look for some more. Uh, and then I need four... Let's split this and we'll pop that in there. So I got four stumpy sparks. I just need four wooden panels. I just need to find one more. Maybe I'll go around and look for more of those treasure chests and maybe I can uh, make a new type of spark. That would be kind of fun. 
See, that's what I like about this game. So Factorio is fun, but there's not a whole, oh, just a guy. Yeah, these, these guys are trying to, they're trying to chop down a tree that they're not able to chop down. But anyway, Factorio is fun, but there's really not a whole lot of story to it. This is the chest I've already did, huh? Yeah, okay. This game has got the story elements to it, and I really like that. Um, you know, Factorio, they have the aliens that come in every so often, and that can be fun. But, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of narrative, not a whole lot of story to it. And this game, I, I really like the fun, the story and the narrative that's involved with it. I don't know if these guys, if I should attack them or not. Um, should we try it? Let's try it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, that's bad. No, come back, come back. I, I barely did any damage. There's two of them. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. No, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. Leave me alone. Let's see if I can find another treasure chest somewhere. Ooh, here's another another shrine and a teleporter. What is this shrine, I wonder? You send your hand to shrine. Yep, yep, yep. Clarifies that it's capable of making an aether shard, but it is currently broken. So, oh, okay, the etheric pellets and etheric shards. Let's do that. Okay, open. Um, and you need, you just need five shards. Well, that's easy. Wait, 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 wait. Split it and go five. Put it in there. It'll eat all of the shards. If I put all of them in there, it'll eat them all, and then I won't get them all. I won't get them back. Okay, cool. There's a hiss. Uh, it's refine the etheric pellet into etheric shards. Okay. Well, now I know what to do with these, uh, and I need to put some sparks in here. And that's it. Okay. And it's making these into shards. Very nice. So I don't have to hunt quite so much. I just have to find those shards. Okay. Well, I couldn't find any wooden panels, any more treasure chests out there. Uh, and I need to get this going again anyway. So we'll put those in there. It's like I got a lot of logging guys bringing logs around. How many do I have? Oh, I've got so many. Oh, no. It's full. That's okay. You know what? I know what to do. I know what to do. So I think what I can do, I will build. Yes, I'll build a shed. Now, can they drop stuff off in the shed? I wonder. Uh, it does not appear that they can. So they will not put stuff in the shed. I think the shed is just for me to put my stuff. Now, I think I can go and I can move the shed. So I don't want it really right there. It's kind of in the way, but I can move it over here. Yeah, okay, so now I've got my shed. It looks like an outhouse. And then I can throw a bunch of these in here. Now, how many did I need to... Oh, let's sort. Sort the inventory. Nice. How many did I... Oh, come on. Let me see here. I need to come down. K is what the button is. Quest log. Stumpy sparks. I need a, I need the spark workbench. I need to build one of those. Okay. And then, um, and then this one I need... 60 sawn timbers, 60 sawn timber. So I should have more than enough. 20, 40, 60, perfect. And then I should have plenty of these as well. I need to build a spark workbench. Let's see, where can I build a workbench? Refine a workbench, okay. Ah, so I need some logs. Okay, let's get some logs. Uh, oh, I have plenty of logs now. So I can build my workbench. Okay, why can't I build it? Uh, sp uh, sparks out of wood must be built on an ancient base. Oh, right here. Uh, I don't like it being down the hill. I'm gonna put it right up here. And kind of the same thing. I think I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need wood and I'm gonna need those crystals. So I can maybe, I don't know if I'm gonna get the wood from this particular logger or if I'm gonna build another logger, but for now that's what I can do. Oh, all I needed to do was build it. I've got plenty of stumpy sparks. And I need to go back to the divine researcher. Okay, so I think I've got everything I need to complete these quests. Let's go. Hello. Okay. Oh, and I didn't even have to bring him anything. He just wanted to see if I could do it. Okay. Uh, I described my experience with the spark workbench. He furiously scribbles his notes. After each thing you tell him, he feels like he's writing five different thoughts. After you finish, the old man furrows his eyebrow deep when thought and sighs gently. I was only a decade or two younger. Oh, if only I was a decade or two younger. Ah, but I am very glad to even be alive to help your adventures and discoveries. Here, take these. You'll find a use for them, I'm sure. I'm sure I will. Okay, so he gave me some aether shards. And that's it. 
Okay, thanks. I mean, Aether Shards are good, I suppose. Now you, now you actually want me to deliver this to you. You want me to, to deliver, whoops, 40. So, oh, I've got just enough, 20. 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, got it. And then 60, 20, 40, 60. Perfect. Nice. Okay, and then I can talk to her. The mayor takes inventory of all the items she's asked for with disbelief. This, this is what we normally make in a month. Uh, okay, I clearly can't stop you, but promise me that you'll take care of yourself. <laughs> okay, Miss Mayor. I'm proud of you no matter what you do. Always have been. Aww, such a grandmotherly person. Ooh, hello, sir. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, I have a question. <laughs> I don't know how to do a voice for this guy. I have a question. Are those sparks of yours good at defending themselves? I'll say so. Or say a trade caravan? We avoid disturbing wild animals, but sometimes they attack. And of course, there's also bandits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe they can help, but ah, you should start with something weak. Hunt some field spunnies for me. I've hunted tons of field spunnies. You can find a lot of them in the woodlands. Yes, I can. Okay, ten field spunnies. Don't confuse them with forest spunnies, all right? If you attack one of those, the whole nest will come after you. Uh, indeed. Quite, quite. Okay, so. I need to go attack field spunnies. But you know what? I'm actually out of time for this episode. I've really been enjoying this game. If you guys have been enjoying this game, please leave a comment and let me know below. If you want to see more of this game, I'm going to I'm gonna play this game again. I'm probably going to make at least one more episode. I don't know how much longer the demo is. They said it was about three hours, and I've been playing eh, about an hour and a half. So we'll see how far we can get in the next episode. For right now, i got to get more of these guys. I would like to take like full three stacks. I don't know what I'm going to be hunting out here. The field spunnies seem pretty easy, but uh, yeah. Anyway, for now, thank you guys so much for joining me. I sure do appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out the video that you see on your screen right now. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side later. Bye.